Make sure to stick around till the end because I have a little bit of something to share with you. Okay, I just did something and totally fell in love, so I thought I would share it with you. First, I took some Distress Oxide Spray. This is Spun Sugar. I sprayed it on my tag. And then I took some Orange Brusho. And then a bit of Dark Brown Brusho. And then I sprayed it with a bit more Distress Oxide Spray and then some water. And just let that move around for a bit. This looks so cool. <laughs> And then I just took a piece of cardstock, and I know you may cry when I do this because right now it looks so vibrant. So actually, I'm going to not touch this one. I'm going to leave that one and set it aside and see what happens when I let it dry on its own. And then when it finally dries, which will probably be later tonight because there's a lot of stuff on there. I will post a picture to show you. So I'm going to go grab another tag. Okay, so again, oxide spray, brush show. I haven't played with any other colors yet. A little more spray. Depending on what you're going for, you don't really need to add water. You could add more spray. And then I took a piece of cardstock and laid it on top. And I pressed down. And you may need to do this more than once because it's a lot of product. And bonus is your piece of paper looks amazing as well. That's what the tag is looking like. Okay, so I'm going to remove that tag for a bit. And I'm just going to soak up this because why not? To me, I think this is very fitting for this time of year. The colors are just... Okay, I'm going to stop there because I'm getting more brown than I am this, but I love the color combo. Love it. And I can't find a spot to put this down. One thing, once you find something that you really like, you make a huge mess, but it's a creative mess, so it's a good mess. And there are our tags. And this is the one that I still haven't touched. I'm loving the vibrancy of the colors on this one. It's gorgeous. 
I love these two. So just thought I'd share because I don't know about you, but I never use these. And when you can find a way to use supplies that you have on hand that you know gets them out of the drawer, it's awesome. And when it turns out like this, it's so exciting. So I just had to share. Everybody. I know this is totally off topic. Well, I guess not totally because it is my art space, but I just wanted to share a few photos with you of my new art space. It's still not completed. Um, I don't know if it'll ever get <laughs> organized properly, but I just wanted to give you this little view. I know it's not showing my entire mural wall, it gives you an idea of the layout. So I have my island like I had in my old room and the desk that is along the back that is a new one that my husband built for me and it is perfect. It's It runs the entire wall which is amazing and I have two separate spots to sit down. One in front of the computer and one over to the far right where I can journal and do some collage and stuff like that. Because I do find when I want to collage that it's more of a sit down art time than it is a standing one. I, I'm not sure what it is but it's just how it works for me. So the island is not too far behind the desk and that way like a lot of the times when I art I like to watch Netflix or something like that so it's a good distance away that I can still watch the monitor and <coughs> excuse me I bought a mount so the monitor is mounted to the wall and it can be pulled out and turned so now I can sit at the other end of my desk and turn the monitor facing me, which is amazing. So already some things have changed, <laughs> but I will, I promise, one day I will do a video. Um, like I said, the room isn't complete, but I may have to go ahead and do one without the room being completed or else it may never happen. I'll probably be moved again, like not moved housewise, but like in a different area of the house or something. So anyway, yeah, that's the view, my messy island and my messy desk. And actually, I think the desk there was probably cleaned up a little. <laughs> if it's a flat surface, things get laid on it. I cannot help it. It just automatically happens and it's not even just my art room I've noticed it's like it upstairs too there's a little there's a table in the entryway things get laid on that and then the kitchen counter there's just always stuff on top of it it's a bad habit <laughs> Now here is just a little shot that I took of um, just this little tiny art gallery I've started. I actually want to have one upstairs in the living room and my family's on board. I just, I don't have all the artwork yet, clearly. That'll take some time. 
and some things have to change and move around before I can get to it. But this is a little one that I've created in my art space. Three of the prints are mine. Um, the flower in the top left, the woman in the top middle, and the other small canvas that's a couple that's um candies, the strawberry candies. Those three are done by me and the other ones are like prints found or bought off of Etsy and printed. So I just I don't know, I just love it. It's just a few prints and it'll probably grow as time goes on and I may just find like other spots in the art room to um, hang some more prints and I'm really going to try and get brave and um, hang more of my own art. It's a little hard because it feels a little conceited <laughs> but I'm gonna try. I, I will. And this I just had to share for fun because my husband is always like, I don't know if it's laughing at me and I wouldn't necessarily call it on my back either. Somewhere in between the two, like he just walks in my room and he's like, really? Because there's always so many drawers left open. I have a bad habit of not closing them. And this one it's more than normally would be open but I was sitting at my desk and I turned around and I got up and I saw all the drawers that were open and I just had to take a picture and send it to him because I thought it was hilarious so I don't know if you remember in my last house my husband had made this whole entire wall unit so it has of course, definitely, there was no option. It came with us to this house. And it is in my art room. Um, some things had to change because it was taller, like the basement was lower than what the room had been at the other house. So the top had to be chopped off a bit. <laughs> but it's pieced together and it works. But. I still have to go through these drawers because there are drawers that I rarely go into and it's filled with things that if I'm being completely honest I may never use so this is one of the things that I have to get tough <laughs> and go through my stuff and be honest with myself and get rid of things that I know I'm not going to use or give myself a chance to use it and then if I don't toss it and then use those drawers for other items that will be so much more convenient having them there than wherever they are now. So that's a few glimpses into my art room. Just wanted to share that with you and hopefully one day soon I may need reminders I will give you a better look around. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.